Welcome to Learners Planet Children. Today we are going to study about rocks and minerals. Children, the earth is made mostly of rocks. Children, you must be knowing that earth is the only planet which will live. Earth is the planet in which we live and this earth is made up of rocks. So children, rocks can be found almost anywhere in the world. So here we can see the picture of the earth and the rock. Children, the stones which you see along the road, on the water and near the beach are nothing but small pieces of rocks. So, the small stones which you see here are the small pieces of rocks. Children, now we will study about rocks. Where are they found and how many types of rocks are there? Okay children, we will start with the rocks are found on the mountains. Also, the rocks are found on the hills. Children, rocks are also found in the valleys. They are also found under the river. And they are also found near the lake, ponds and seas. So you can see in this picture the small small rocks. Children, rocks are of many colors like white, black, red and gray. Children, rocks are usually very hard. Through this picture and also whenever you go along the road, you pass along the road, just see and notice the rocks. How hard are they? Rocks can be found almost anywhere and they are very hard. Children, Granite is a very hard rock and it is used to make floor tiles. So children, we are now studying about the types of rock and granite is one such kind of a very hard rock. This is a picture of a granite. And here we can see that the floor tiles are made up of granite. Children, the tiles which you see in your home are made up of granite. The second type of rock is the marble. Marble is also a hard rock and it is used for making buildings, statues and floors. So we can see in this picture that marble is white in color. And it is very useful for making buildings, statues 
and floors. One such very great example of a marble is the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal in Agra is built of white marble. Children, the third type of hard rock is the sandstone. Sandstone is also considered a very hard rock. But it is not as hard as granite or marble. This is the picture of a sandstone. It is somewhat reddish in color. So children, one such very fine example of sandstone is the red fort. Yes, the red fort in Delhi is made up of red sandstone. Children, we studied about hard rocks. But children, remember that some rocks are soft also. For example, coal, for example, a slate, the roofs of some houses are made up of slate and chalk pieces, chalk pieces are also made by slate, by chalk. So children, we can see here some examples of the soft rocks, coal, slate and chalk. Children, now we will study about some minerals. So what are minerals? All rocks are made up of minerals. Children, you can see the picture. You can see some dotted points. These are the rocks made up of minerals. We can clearly see something present on these rocks. These are called minerals. Because all the rocks are made up of minerals. Children, Minerals are of different colors, shapes and sizes. Many things that we use every day in our life are made up of minerals. So what are those things which are made up of minerals? We will see some examples. Yes, the first example is the iron. Iron is used to make nails. So iron is a very important type of mineral which we use to make nails. So we can see here the picture of some nails. And the other things which are made up of iron. Yes children, tungsten is also a type of mineral which we use in light bulbs. Children you must have seen bulbs in your home. These bulbs are made up of tungsten. Children, Quartz is also another type of mineral which is used in watches. The wrist watches which we wear is made up of quartz. Children, graphite is also a type of mineral which is used as the lid of a pencil. So children, Always remember that the pencil you use and the lead of the pencil 
is made up of graphite. Children, you must have seen the mirrors in your home. You see your face in the mirror and you see yourself in the mirror. So actually we can see our image in the mirror. So what is actually mirror made up of? Yes, it is also made up of a type of mineral. And that mineral is silica. Silica is a mineral which is used to make mirrors so that we can see ourselves in the mirror. Children, China clay is also a type of mineral which is used to make flower vases. Yes, children, we can see in this picture that a woman is using the China clay to make some beautiful flower vases. So these are some flower vases which are made from China clay. Children, talc is used to make a talcum powder. You must have seen the talcum powder in your home. Sometimes you use, your parents use this perfume, the talcum powder. So what is this talcum powder made up of? Talc. Children, we studied and learned about minerals. We saw many examples about minerals. Now we will study about gemstones. So what are actually gemstones? Gemstones are very hard minerals. The gemstones are cut in various shapes and they are polished. So these polished gemstones are very beautiful. So we will see some examples of the gemstones. The gemstones, some are in their original forms and some are cut and polished. So we see here that this is a picture of a raw emerald. The raw emerald is green in color. This is a type of an original gemstone. And this is the raw ruby. Raw ruby is also a type of an original gemstone. Children, we can see here both the types of gemstones. A gemstone which is original and the gemstone which is being cut and polished. So this is also a kind of ruby gemstone. Children, this is emerald, a gemstone which has been cut and polished and has been given the shape of heart. This beautiful polished gemstone is emerald and this is a polished gemstone called as garnet. So, there is a raw garnet and also a polished garnet and all these gemstones are used to make the beautiful jewelry. Yes children, you must have heard about the diamond. So what is diamond? It is the hardest mineral, the hardest mineral of all. This is a picture of a diamond. It shines and is very beautiful. And when it is cut and polished, 
and it is formed in any shape we want in the shape of a ring in the shape of a necklace in the shape of ear rings so diamond is the hardest mineral and it is very costly also and diamond is very beautiful mineral so children today we studied about various types of rocks minerals and beautiful gemstones i hope you enjoyed this session in the next lecture we will study about light and shadow so always keep enjoying and learning thank you children